All right, welcome back everyone, PC Tech Help. We're going to continue with our assembly language here. This is something that we got to get out of the way because we're going to be doing a lot of it later on in both assembly and and reverse engineering for those of you that are going to get into that part of it. And that's counting in binary. And I've set up a simple XML sheet here. What we got is each one of the zeros here are a bit. You got four bits are going to equal a nibble, and eight bits are going to equal a byte. And depending on what we're doing with assembly, especially in reverse engineering, being able to count and understand both binary and hexadecimal is going to be a, a skill that y you really can't do without. So we're going to I'm going to count in binary up to 15 and show you right here. The white lines right here, wherever you see a 1, basically we substitute the number above for that. So if you see, if there's a 1 right here, you it'll be add up to 4. You can see a total over here in this column here. And this here is our total for our hexadecimals. So, for instance, if I put a 1 there, you see that it equals 4 over here. If I was to put a 1 there, 4 and 1 is 5. So it's very simple to see how this is going right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run down a simple counting in binary up to 15 and show you how it's done with our nibble right here, our four bits. So we're going to go naturally starting out with 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, finally 15. Now we got 15, all of our digits, first four digits are 1. Naturally 15 in hex would be just F. You can see we got F here equals 15 and all four up there equal 15. Let's get our nipple back in here. I actually deleted that. That's basically it. Now, we got two down here and a byte. When you see a binary file, you see a bunch of numbers. Actually, though, each one of those are byte, which takes up two hexadecimal numbers, as we see down here. Now, each hexadecimal number is going to be equal to and an, 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 uh, assembly instruction in the CPU. And we'll get into that in the reverse engineering part of it. In the assembly language uh, tutorials, we're basically going to stick with just regular assembly language. So, but anyway, for those, most of the people that take or learning assembly actually want to get into reverse engineering. Just understanding assembly is a required skill for that. So, just like in math, pretend every four bytes, see right here I got a, a, a divider sign right here for each one of these. Every four bytes is in its own uh, hex. So these four bytes right here pertain only to this hex. These four bytes right here pertain only to this one. And if we had a third hex over here, those four bytes would only attain to that one. So we're at 15. So if we're going to add one more, we really can't do it right here. We have to go jump over into this one which just like in math or you know subtraction and stuff we're going to borrow so we had to change all these to one and we just put one right there and we get our 16 down here we'll have to change our f to zero and just put a one there and that equals 16. so like if we were to add a five right here in this first one where the zero is it actually 21 and if we wanted to change the binary to reflect that, we'd, all we had to do, don't pay attention to this over here, we're in this one, so these four up here have to equal this. So if we want to change this to 21, we just add 5. We've got 4 plus 1 would equal 5, so now we're down, they both equal 21. This whole number right here is 21, and these two together, or this byte, this byte right here equals 21. 
just all you got to do is remember that each one of these are separate into their own bytes. So if we change these back to zero, and let's say we just make up a number starting with the 128. We put a one there, one there, one there, and let's say so we got 181. Got to change these back to zero. Now all we're going these four here equal this one, and these four here equal this hex. So these numbers up here don't pay attention to the 1632. When we're transferring them to hex, all four are always 1, 2, 4, and 8. Same here, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So we have 181 up here. We got 4 and 1, which equals 5. And over here, we would have 8, 2, and 1. 8 and 2 is 10. 1 is 11, which in hex is B. Yep. It wanted to put byte in there. So B. So B5 is 181, and this binary number here all together is 181. So that's all, basically all you got to remember. Don't worry about remembering it right now. Just wanted to, you can play it, you can watch the tape over and over. That's it. basically it. We'll get more in depth into it in uh, further lessons when we get into reverse engineering mainly. Uh, you won't have to we're probably won't have to deal with it too much in uh, the assembly part of the lessons. But once we get into reverse engineering to understand what's going on, uh, you'll have to follow along with this because that's counting in binary is going to be very important, m more in the hexadecimal numbers than in the actual binary. So as long as you got an under, uh, understanding of uh, the binary and how to count, and we'll be all set. So that's going to be about basically it. Um, for those of you that are going to be continuing on in the reverse engineering part, I'll see you over there, which we'll get more into the binary math. And those that are going to be sticking with the assembly language, um, I wouldn't really fuss a whole to a whole lot over the counting of binary, because you won't be dealing with it a whole lot except for a few situations. But nothing really you got to put to memory. But definitely, if you're going to be reverse engineering, you're going to be doing some. Uh, mathematics and binary. So until next time, we'll see you all then.